you know, this is the only part I don't like about the game is just trying to complete the map, just to get the best ending. And it, it, it's not much of a big difference in terms of endings, but still, it makes you feel better inside. <laughs> and I do get people that kind of wish that, you know, whatever game I play, I do 100% completion on it. And it really depends on the game for me, to be honest. Like, I, I'm willing to redo Super Metroid for 100%, because I played that, I love that game to death, I'm willing to do it, no problem. Metroid Fusion, on the other hand, I didn't really feel like doing it. I'm not familiar, I'm not too familiar with Metroid Fusion as I am with Super Metroid in terms of item placement. And quite frankly, I, I like speedrunning Metroid Fusion anyway. I love speedrunning Super Metroid too, but I, I can get the items pretty fast in Super Metroid to the point where, you know, it's enjoyable to watch. At least I hope it is. Okay, actually, we're going the wrong way. To the left, to the left. Like the song. <laughs> And what awaits us over here to the left? Nothing. Well, actually, I don't know what that is. I don't feel like reading it, though. I know. All this is going to be solved whenever I decide to do the... Nah. Hold on. <laughs> I'll probably wait for that. Well, this is fun. Ah, oh, shit. Up. Oh, there goes my calling card. <laughs> And there's just one more area to explore in terms of water. And it's right here, actually. What the hell did I just get from the cave troll? Let's press start and find out. If it has any stat boost, I will, I'm willing to wear it. Whoa, whatever the hell it is, it just boosts up my defense by a shitload. Of course I'm going to wear that. I can't tell. I'm probably, I'm probably that's probably the rare item drop from the cave troll, because that is actually that's pretty good uh, defense uh, boost to my defenses. It's not bad, not bad. Okay, so I don't have to worry about getting hurt too much now. I should still be careful, but still. Yeah, and yeah. So you know what? I, you you guys should know why I'm doing this. So I just really wish the damn map wasn't so goddamn picky. Thousand dollar money bag. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, that, uh, the money bags are different color. I know. I really should. I'm really late in mentioning this. <laughs> but the, the the money color, the money bags are different colors depending on which mount you're on. If you see a dark, a dark, uh, the dark gray one is about a thousand dollars. I think the highest one you can get is the light gray bag, which is a substantial. Amount. I think it's two thousand dollars actually. The small ones are like the red one. I think is the red one. I think is twenty five. The gold one's fifty. One of them is a hundred. The green one is two fifty. The blue one is four hundred. And oh, there we go. Good. Now we have the Alucard shield. Good. That was a shield I lost from death in the beginning of the game. And now that I have the Alucard shield with the shield rod, I just unlocked the strongest weapon in the game. And I will show you what it is later on. I'm not showing it now because these guys are insignificant. Who should I use it on? Then? Okay. Well, I'm going to use it on whoever boss I come across next. All right, so you saw what I could do with the shield rod earlier, you know, assuming you've watched all the other parts. But now that we have the Alucard shield, we combine that bitch with the shield rod. We're going to unleash total chaos. You're going to love it. All right, now we're at the reverse Dracula castle, and it's you. we're back to f the fucking final Takata music. God damn it, I hate this track. <laughs> I don't hate the track, I'm just sick of it. And here's that rock formation again, and yeah, we probably... We, we know the deal, we have, we have to go inside the form... We have to go inside the form as a bat, and then we have to leave it as a wolf. I don't know exactly what triggers this door to activate because of that. And I should activate it, let's actually, let's actually look. And no, we didn't activate it. Yeah, they should do it. Yep, that did it. I have no idea what the hell causes the door thing. I don't know why that does what it does. And I think that's just... I think what we picked up is either the lightning bracelet or the cat circlet, which is something we're not really going to use. 
Ugh, oh, I want to get out of here because I'm tired of this music track. Seriously. I wish this game had custom soundtracks. Ooh, holy water. <laughs> oh, good. Save room. We can kill the music. Actually, hold on. I'm gonna... I'm gonna take a little small break. I want to drink my juice. Ah. Much better. Alright. Oh, God damn it! the music started again. <laughs> Alright, I think that's the... F I don't exactly remember what weapon that was I just picked up, but uh, whatever, I'm not going to use it. There's like 75, like 85% of the items in this game that I never, I never use. And you can't do anything about it because you can't sell them to the librarian. He only sells jewels, he only can buy jewels from you. And I just got another flame shuriken from that guy. It's awesome. Never gonna use it. <laughs> I know, but it's true. I'm never gonna use it. Actually, no. I want to fly through this form, but we have, we have some cool new enemies here that we're only gonna get a glimpse of, like that guy right there that I just killed. It's a flea man riding a dragon. Now it's funny if you manage to kill the flea man that's riding the dragon, the dragon itself becomes that. It it flies on its own. It doesn't hurt you anymore. It actually hurts all the enemies for you. So fly, my dragon, fly. To victory. Come on, attack him. There you go. You're doing good. Attack him. Come on, over here. No, where are you going? This way. This way. There you go. Devour him. Ow! I got hit by the fucking laser. I was distracted by the dragon. I actually got hit by the damn laser. Ow! Good lord. What the hell was that? I only did one point of damage, though, so I'm not too cared. I'm not too worried about it. Come, dragon. <laughs> Oh, the dragon. I can't bring the dragon with me to other screens. So we got another magic mallet, and... Magic mallet, what the fuck is that? Yu-Gi-Oh? Good lord. <laughs> Alright, uh, I guess it's time for us to go to the underground... Reverse underground garden. God, even the fucking trees are upside down. Well, I mean, if they're part of the castle, I mean, it will make sense, but got the sky still yeah. upside down. Nope! No! No! God damn it. No. Well, actually, you could just keep farming for that $400 bag from those candles. You can do that. Alright. And it's... I guess it's not pretty obvious, but, you know, underground... Reverse underground garden. Saturn exclusive level. I wonder what kind of remix music are we going to get now. I can't hear it because it has a slow beginning. Okay. This is the techno version of beginning. And hold on. I know you want to hear the track, over, but I want to activate this warp room real quick. <laughs> just in case I need to go back here ever again. I'm not going to need to. I don't think so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we got, we got a fire genie, which I'm guessing is based off Jafar from Aladdin. <laughs> we have eight enemies that have no idea what they do. They're not really much of a threat, because I've been here before without the Chrysogram, and I was able to take care of them really easily. I forgot what that guy did in particular. But let's just listen to the music. Save room. <laughs> Damn you, save room. Why are you ruining my fun? I listen to music. I get to a room that actually has music that I want to listen to, and you cut off the damn track. And now it restarts over again. You know what? We're just gonna, you know, it's the same as the underground. Oh, god damn it. He actually hit me with a projectile, and that actually hurt. I'm not gonna waste my time here. I just wanna wing smash my way out of here. Ah, here we are. A Saturn-exclusive weapon, the Alucard Spear. 
which is actually the very same spear that is used by Eric Lacard in Castlevania Bloodlines, if you know what I'm talking about. Problem is, the Alucard spear is a uh, two weapon, you know, requires two inventory slots to use. So, you know, you know, it's cool to look at. If you do the, if you do a half circle motion, no, if you, actually, if you do a quarter circle motion, you get to do that attack. And if you do a half circle motion, you do this impale move, which I'm trying to do. Yeah, it's actually a pretty cool weapon. I recommend you use it if you want to change things up. Personally, I prefer the Chrysogram, but. You know, if you want to change things up, use the Alucard Spear, it's pretty nice. But you can only get it on the Saturn version. Now we're going to Wing Smash our way out of here. Ah, God damn it, it's just music again. <laughs> uh, well, luckily we're not going to be in here for a very long time because we're now we're actually going to go to the reverse Akami Laboratory. Uh, reverse Akami Laboratory, yeah. We need to go back up here first, though. So I can wink smash my way to the door. Ah, I said wink smash my way to the door. Well, I, technically I was correct. I did wink smash my way to the door. I didn't exactly wink smash my way through the door. Yes. <laughs> Eat it. Anything to get me out of this place faster. Ow. Actually, this is the way I want to be going. Actually, I do want to complete this little map right here. No, I, I was already here. Yeah, I was already here. Just making sure. Actually, what am I doing? Wing Smash does the body good. actually jump through platforms in this game. It's actually really cool. I think a lot of games could use that. Oh, fuck. Oh, for the love of fuck me. There we go. And the life max up. It's nice. We could always use more of those. Actually, I never got my... I never. My HP has never gone to the point of over a thousand. It's possible to bring it over a thousand. But I've never had the need to do that. <laughs> ah, that's the, uh... I actually forgot what that is. I just picked up just like three multi-multicolored balls. Like Mr. Bucket. Um... But I, I, don't, I don't exactly remember what they do. I think it has something to do with luck, actually. I'm not sure. And actually, this is the warp room I think I want to use. Well, I don't want to use, but I want to use it. You know, to put it on the map. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. I just want to make sure it's there. Ugh. I actually forgot what musical piece plays during the reverse alchemy laboratory. Hopefully it's not Final Takata, because goddammit, I am sick of this musical piece. I didn't see that there until I noticed. Yeah, I like how my sword is my sword familiar has this blue aura that's surrounding him now because he's a more little more leveled up than he was previously. But he's not fully leveled up yet. Actually you'll know your sword familiar is at level fifty when it leaves the screen and it becomes an actual sword that you can use. But I think it's better for you just to have it as a sword familiar anyway, so you can just have like a third sword following you around. It's pretty nice. Especially after he gets to level 50, he becomes really accurate with what he does. So it's, you know, it's, it's a nice little bonus. You know, that's a save room. Actually, you know what? I want to use a save room. Because I got a feeling I'll be reaching a boss pretty soon. And actually, I do want to show off the Alucard Shield Rod combination, but the boss that I'm going to be fighting next is not exactly the most ideal one to use it against, only because he's so awkward to hit. And I don't want to go there yet. 